To the naked eye, this is just a tooth, a wisdom tooth that belonged to a 20-year-old man. The exterior of the tooth is covered and protected by enamel, the hardest tissue in the human body. Although it's capable of resisting the shocks of chewing, enamel can be penetrated by tiny particles such as bacteria. If enough bacteria enter the tooth, it starts to decay and form a cavity. The enamel surface appears increasingly marked and uneven as we move closer. Two different types of fissures can be seen. Some are little holes, others are cracks parallel to each other and running diagonally across the screen. These fissures reflect the composition of enamel. It's made up of a mass of tiny elements called prisms, all packed together and leaning obliquely. At a higher magnification, it's clear that this scenario is repeated. Tiny, rough-shaped rods, all pointing in the same direction. They're called crystals of appetite. The same crystals are found in bone, as well as in dentine and dental cement, which are parts of the interior of the tooth. Appetite crystals make up only 96% of enamel. The remainder, invisible here, consists of water and tiny proteins that cover and join together the crystals. Enamel is formed by special cells during the growth of the teeth. It's only made once. If it becomes worn, the body cannot replace it. Closer still, and the apatite crystals appear as fine layers stacked up on each other. We've now reached maximum magnification. Finally, we can see the atomic structure of an apatite crystal. It's a mineral made up of ions of phosphate and calcium, grouped together to form a well-ordered framework. Beyond this, nothing more is visible, for the moment.